Hello, okay learners. Um, in this video, this would be very short, but I discuss uh, nine actually, you know, nine uh, important words that you have to take note on when it comes to certain conditions that is present or sometimes it's placed under special education. So, but the thing here is some people get confused, no, of these things. So, first. Uh, you have to understand what is um, lectiome. So this is pertaining to reading. When you say graphia, this pertains to writing. Uh, calculia, which is doing mathematical equations or do to solve math. So it's mathematics. So these three three words, lectia, graphia, and calculia, could be no, could be. Uh, place uh, with a prefix which one prefix starts with or the prefix a the other one is prefix dys then the other one would be hyper h-y-p-e-r so if you attach this letters or this prefix on the word would the entire definition or condition is already different so we start with Alexia, Agraphia, and Akakulia. These things, if you, if you, these three things or these three conditions are already different from the other uh, the conditions that I would be mentioning on. So when you say Alexia, Agraphia, Akakulia, this may, means your definition would always start with the inability. So meaning inability to read for Alexia. For agraphia, inability to write, and for akakulia, inability to do mathematical equations. So these are different, no? So usually this three is associated with a head injury or a trauma. Okay, so do not dwell much on that one. So usually, uh, usually it's associated with that one. Well, for DYS, dyslexia, dysgraphia, and dyscalculia. These are all difficulty. Difficulty to read, difficulty to write, difficulty to do math. So meaning, but again, uh, this is just to, this video is just to give you the difference between the three groups that I'd be sharing this afternoon, not really the full no? description of each condition. So when you say DYS, it's just difficulty. So meaning, that's why they're placed under the category of learning disabilities because meaning you could still they could still be trained to read to write and to calculate they're not going to be having difficulties on other areas i mean they will be having difficulties in other areas but this is just difficulty so meaning you the child can be trained the child can be given accommodations so that his work or um, he would be able to cope up in the regular class. Okay, the other one, the third group that I mentioned is called hyper, the hyper lexia, hyper graphia, and hyper calculia. Okay, the the first thing that I discussed is hyper graphia. The hyper graphia is there's an intense desire to to write, to draw, to do something, you know, with his hand. To, to do with a pen or paper, he would really like to do it. No? There's a desire to do it. While hyperlexia is different, this one is it has positive and negative in it. Uh, it means that the child would be able to read but would not be able to comprehend what he's reading. Okay? The third one, hyper uh, calculia. That condition naman is considered an uh, intelligent one, no? positive siya. So, these three categories or three areas so that people would not be confused because like sometimes people would ask me, like last time somebody asked me what is the difference between Alexia, uh, dysgraphia, and dyscalculia. So, the person got confused with uh, what, that, what category or Dyslexia should be interchanged or could be interchanged with Alexia. So you could not interchange it because Alexia is 
definitely or the word that starts with letter A, Alexia, Agrafia, um, Acaculia, these are all inability. While well, dyslexia, dysgraphia, and dyscalculia, these are all difficulty. While well, hyperlexia, hypergraphia, and hypercalculia are all different also, and they would manifest differently. So, just for terminology's sake, so don't be confused with it, and please take note that conditions would really be different, no? So, terminologies are very important so that you do not be confused of how to name them or how to describe them. Okay, so, guess that's it. So, thank you for listening.